Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Fear, and this is a new film out on virtual cinemas. You could rent it on Vudu, and this is the Bulgarian pick for this year's Oscars for the best international film, and this made you know, it was the entry selection for Bulgaria, did not make the nominees, but this is a very powerful and important film in many ways as this takes place on the Bulgarian-Turkish border, and you have this story of a cranky woman who finds herself connecting with this refugee from Africa and causing all kinds of mayhem in her small town. And this is from writer-director Velo Ristov. Ivelo Ristov. And what Ristov is able to do in this film is balance a lot of important ideas and themes about refugees, which is very relevant right now especially in our country here in America, you know, with people coming over the border all the time and the tension that that causes within our own country, but also, especially with the Ukraine, are we taking these refugees in? And what's the difference? Is there different reactions between people from different places of the world? Because that's what this film deals with, too, is prejudice. Because if this was a white man coming from a European country looking to be a refugee... I'm sure he wouldn't have as much problems and definitely wouldn't come across as much prejudice as this poor man, Bamba, faces throughout the course of this film. This very much is a black comedy. There's a lot of humor. From the very start, you have Svetla, who is our main character, being hit on by older men in the town and her just shooting them down, shot down in flames, straight out of ACDC song. And there's funny moments, there's barbs getting thrown all the time, and you have this dynamic between Svetla and Bamba that is infectious. And you have Svetla Yancheva, who plays Svetla, who goes from being this very shut-in, aggressive, and ornery woman to somebody who is able to find this connection with another human being and does it in an earnest and believable way. And then you have Michael Fleming, who is Bamba, who, over the course of this film, gets to be big and bold in his actions and entertaining and funny and... Also, you get to see this believability of this developing relationship between these two characters and how they deal with all the small-town tensions because, you know, nosy neighbor who's like, why is this unfortunate term used for black people doing in our yard and, like, doing next to our property? And there's a lot of that. There's very explicit racism that pops up throughout this film using a lot of slurs and... Interesting, like, they wouldn't even type it out on the subtitles. It was, you know, an asterisk and just a bunch of asterisks afterwards. But you have these horrible interactions, but are caught so perfectly by Haristov, the director, and it hits emotionally and poignantly. And this story, you know, deals with this unexpected romance, which, you know... It deals in that trope because, you know, they're an odd couple from the start. Like, at first, she's, like, pointing a shotgun at him when they first meet. And then, you know, by the end of the film, they're smitten for each other. And you have these connections and this journey throughout this film, even though it is pretty expected and it's not exactly surprises that are going on. But it deals with very poignant themes of love and overcoming differences and, you know, racism and refugees and all these different topics. It's a powerful and funny film. And I really wish, that, you know, there's so many great films that were part of the Oscar picks for each country this year. Just wish there could be more nominees because something like this, Fear, would definitely deserve some recognition. But those are my thoughts on Fear. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.